Mr. Dingers. I exposed arguably one of the most prolific car thieves in Birmingham not too long ago. Burglars from the ends. What you say? I captioned the video, let's build him up to take him down. And that's exactly what happened. He went from 3,000 followers to over 20,000 in a matter of weeks. I put a spotlight on a criminal that would have otherwise gone unnoticed. Radio for the West Midlands. But we've also found out here on BBC WM that the police aren't the only ones monitoring these criminals. Omar, who doesn't want to use his full name, has made it his business to expose these thieves online. A gang of car thieves have been posting their crimes online, bragging about how easy it is. Countless of victims went without the justice they deserved. Although I'm limited in what I can now say, thanks to YouTube. Now YouTube is not happy um, that I'm exposing people. I want to show you today how a little moff warrior in his bedroom is capable of influencing news to the highest level. This is Omar. He's been a victim of moped thieves in London. He decided to share these images of the Birmingham gang to expose them. Social media is where they all talk. This is where they all sort of congregate and show off their crimes, um, all in a bid to get what they call clout, um, which is popularity. <laughs> After I released my exposing video not too long ago, this was Mr. Dinger's response. Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm off. Why are you? I'm sorry. 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 I'm Hey guys, I'm my for you here. Um, I'm gonna give Mr. Dingers a ring. You might remember him from last episode. I've had this um number for a while. So cool and see how he's doing. Rabba rabba dingy. You're right. <laughs> You're right, dingus. It's hand off. How's it going? <laughs> You're right, man. <laughs> Stop being silly, man. Talk to me. Who's this? It's hand off warrior. Who's that? It's me, man. You're live. How's it going? <laughs> Yeah, it's me. Just talk to me. Stop being scared. What's... <laughs> Come on, Mr. Dingers. You give it all the talk. Look, I'm gonna... I'm not trying to harass you, man. But I want I just want to talk to you. Who's this, bro? Oh... <laughs> You know who it is, so just talk to me. Just, just tell me. Um, what, what is it going to take to stop you, to stop what you're doing? What, what, what am I doing? Stealing cars. No, I think, I think you got the wrong person here. I don't think so. You got quite a distinctive voice, man. No, man, you got the wrong person. Send it off. Send it off, lads. Let's see it, bro. 
burglars from the end. He's got the wrong person, my guy. The same voice, man. Come on. Yeah, I know. I know who owns Mr. Demon, but ain't me. Really? Yeah, a lot of people have the same accent. If you don't, if you don't realize. Mate, you've got a very distinctive voice. What do you mean? So wait, that? so wait. You know who Mr. Dingers is, do you? Yeah, obviously. He's from like my area. He's really wanted, you know that? What is he really wanted? He's wanted, like, he's destroying a lot of people's lives. Why is he? Why? Because he's stealing cars, he's breaking into houses. You know, he's ruining a lot of people's lives, man. <laughs> Mate, I've watched a lot of um, a lot of videos on many, many channels, on Instagram channels, Instagram accounts, whatever, right? And mm. your voice is definitely one that I've heard before. And you sound like Mr. Dingers to me. If you, if you think I'm Mr. Dingers, you could think I'm Mr. Dingers anyway. I don't know if this is someone trying to prank call or whatever. I don't know. But, no. you, know, you, but you know who Mr. Dingers is? Let's what? let's just say, right, theoretically, you're not Mr. Dingers. You know who he is, right? Yeah. Uh, so, do you think maybe you can hook me up with him? And um, we can have a little chat? Um, what, what do you mean, like? I just want to have a chat to him on the phone. See, like, you know, why why is he ruining why people's would lives? I pass you? If, if I had his number, why would I pass you his number anyway? Because like, everyone knows who you are and what's that? It's Han Moff Warrior. Who's that? Why, why would you protect the scumbag, man? Because I know him. Well, well, uh, well, I'm not a snitch like you. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm a grade A snitch. You wouldn't want to be like me. You are a snitch. Yeah, I no, I am, I am. No, you are, you are a big snitch. <laughs> so, what's worse, being a snitch or a thieving piece of? Yeah, so, so what, what's worse? Which one's worse? Wait, answer you're my question weird. first. You're weird, man. Mate, um, what's worse, being a snitch or being a dirty, dirty thief? Which one's worse? What, what's, what's worse, having no life or being a snitch? All right, man. Um, you keep doing what you're doing. If you're not Mr. D, you sound like Mr. Dingers, but if you're not Mr. Yeah, Dingers... If I was Mr. Dingers, I'd tell you that I'm Mr. Dingers, it? but I'm not Mr. Dingers. But uh, do you know what? I'll, because you've got my number, you're obviously going to keep ringing me. and probably. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not like you guys. That's it. That's the end of it. I'll, I'll probably, you're probably going to post it all over Instagram and that lot, you know. Nah, you know, I have never done that before. So, what I'm gonna probably going to do is I will probably will try and get his number, but I'm, I'm not giving you his number. I'll put all right. you... Don't, if don't. you send me your number, I'll put you on no call at ID and then call you. Alright, don't give me his number. Why don't you call him and merge it? And give him a chance to explain I, I that I'm on the other side. Why, you've, you've got a burner phone, I don't allow it. You know, one of them shitty £10 phones, is that why? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good for the crime, isn't it? I don't know, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not as you know, I've got a legit job. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's right what people do, but yeah, they do it, and it. Oh, so you don't, you don't support it. What? You don't support it. No. But you still think I'm a snitch. No, I just, I just, I just don't know why you go out your way to do it. Obviously. Mate, I don't need, I don't need you to. Yeah. Right now, because I actually do have a life, but. Oh man, uh, what's it like having a life? That must be great. Yeah, it is. Anyways, um, all right, yeah. man. I'll leave you. Yeah. I'll leave you to it, and don't worry, man. I'm not gonna share your number. I'm not like I that. I don't, I, don't, I don't care. If even, you know, even if you were Mr. Dingers, yeah. you know. I, I mean, I ain't Mr. Dingers. So I don't care. You can share it all you want, but yeah, it's just yeah. it's up to you, ain't it? Burglars from the ends. What you say? No, that's fine, man. That's that's totally fine. You are. Uh, you stick with that story. All right, man. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Okay. Take it easy, bro. <laughs> Guys, make your own decision if that was Mr. Dingers. Um, crazy. Crazy. Please like this video to support the movement to bring justice to the victims who are suffering day in, day out. Justice is hard to come by these days. Subscribe to my channel to see next episode where I speak to a thief I've once chased. I remember that hand was, I don't you remember, I know you, oh my Wait, god. Wait, do I remember you? Have I met you before? I, of course you have, Dad. No way. I've met you before, where and when? And how? Wembley. <laughs> oh man. 
Are you the guy on the red end, Max? Come on! Yeah, you already know how it goes. He tells me how he gets caught by police regularly and is released without charge in under 24 hours, despite being caught on a stolen bike. If the police don't crack down on these criminals, this will then be the answer. answer.